Hey everybody, I'm Zoe. And I'm Chandi. And this is Bound by the Club. <laughs> Welcome to this very spooky mini-sode. Just one of our two spooky episodes for fall 2024. You travel down dark, dimly lit corridors with the echo of distant screams coming from every direction. The faded and peeling wallpaper is nothing compared to the old, dirty, antique dolls that line the walls of the room you just entered. You're on the verge of escaping this house of horrors when you hear the distant rumblings of a chainsaw coming from up ahead and a jolt of adrenaline rushes through your body. You've now escaped the clutches of a madman, but that's just one of the attractions. You have three more to go. The hum of a tractor awaits as you enter the line for the haunted hayride. There's something about haunted attractions, like haunted hayrides and haunted houses, that draw people in all across the country every year. This year, we visited Field of Screams in Mountville, Pennsylvania, one of the most popular haunted attractions in the U.S. It has been attracting thrill-seekers since its founding in 1993. It was created by brothers Gene and Jim Schaff on their family farm, which they still run today, offering everything from summer produce to Christmas trees. This terrifying destination is not for the faint of heart, with attractions like the Haunted Hayride, Den of Darkness, and Frightmare Asylum, it's known for delivering the kind of thrills that keep people coming back for more. Or, should I say, running away in terror. But what goes into creating such a fear-inducing experience? Well, you're about to find out from Jim about the horrifying creativity behind Field of Screams, the history of this legendary haunt, and the dedication it takes to keep the scares fresh every year. Well, I'll tell you what, right from the start, we're the owner's parents. That's my son with the chainsaw. He <laughs> doesn't scare you? He doesn't, he doesn't face <laughs> Did he scare you, Johnny? A little bit. He's, so he's your child? He is my child. Oh, he has sometimes. He has, you well, like him? I'll, I'll tell you what, he's taking over my spot. I didn't used to do that, but I used to dress up like the old bag lady. Oh, and wow. I was I had a black wig on and googly eye glasses and I had a raven on the one hand. And then I had a cat rat in the other hand. I went, Wow. And the best part of it all was I had a mannequin on a wheelchair and I could press the pedal and she'd come flying out of people. And that was great. But guess what? I wore her out instead of her wearing, her wearing me out. Uh. The spring on it, they couldn't tighten it anymore. And so then she started going, you know, like that. And that just didn't do yeah. it. So it, I, okay, so they get it from from you. Yeah, they the family. Do. Yeah. Awesome. Run from the family. But this was our farm at one time. Uh, yeah. How long have you guys uh, been doing this? Well, they've done this for 32 years. 32 years. Yeah. That's it. We started so now, in the barn and in the hay mile. 
we had bales. Yeah. And they rearranged the bales to scare people. Does it scare you ever? No. Or you, you just got used to it? Yeah. <laughs> Never scared me. And then he used to raise chickens in the oh, asylum. Wow. And when he was still raised, well, it was capons, and they was, they'd be there in their windows, you know, looking out the windows, and the people would be coming, you know, see these chickens. <laughs> well, what's the scariest thing, you think? Here first, now? Yeah. This is our first time. I'm not scared about anything. But they've done a great job. I mean, they have built everything from scratch. I'm Annette, and this is Ed, and our last name, of course, is Show. Okay. S-C-H-O-P-F. Um, so, I guess, what brings you to Field of Screams? To be honest, my friends dragged me here. <laughs> uh, the fun, and it's Halloween, so... She grabbed me by the hair, so this is where we have. <laughs> but other than that, it's very fun here. Like, you had your spooky moments where you wanted to jump out your boots, but other than that, it's very fun. Okay, okay. I think the thrill um, of it, okay. the very thrill. my heart races, is fun. Like, it's only like a one-time thing that really gives you that type of thrill. It's not seeing like something like a scary movie, but it's just and when you feel it. You don't know what's coming next, so it's fine. Uh, with me, it's because I want to see if the reactions are real in movie theaters and stuff like that. I want to see uh, if like I'm actually scared or not, but yeah. Okay, okay, cool. What, um, what really scared you here? The clowns. Oh. Yeah. Not a fan? Just here no, in general. I hate <laughs> <laughs> the clowns and chainsaws, I don't yeah. like neither. Yeah. Because okay. they're like, yeah. 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 And they get, like, the people get really close to you. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen, I think I've seen like two clowns so far. Where were the clowns? Oh, oh, it's like clown central over there. No, yeah. I'm keeping that for last. I was going to do that with last. Should I do it now instead? I, I mean, say you should do it now. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. it worth it? Because there's a lot of attractions and a lot of things in there, and that's going to yeah. spook you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so you've done the other ones too? and We're going to this one now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. one is scary. Is oh, it? Which, what is it? <laughs> what is it? It's an asylum. Oh. Wow. Well, I already been. I'm on your time. My head. <laughs> Enjoy your night. Thank you. So my brother and I started Field of Screams back in 1993. Very humble beginnings here on our family farm. It's about a 35 acre farm and pretty much nothing existed here on the farm other than the two buildings that uh, are now the Den of Darkness and the Frank Meyer Asylum. And other than that, it was just all cornfields and uh, potato fields. Everything was farmed and now it's uh, we've gone from Harvesting crops to harvesting fear. <laughs> That's a good tagline. So, I mean, speaking of that, like, how did you come up with the name Field of Screams? You know, we, we, uh, it, that's interesting because when we started Field of Screams, we were just, we really had no business plan. We were just, we were entrepreneurs at a young age. So kind of backing up when we were, my brother and I are the ones that started and, and owned Field of Screams. Um, he's six years older than me. So, so backing up before Field of Screams, we would use the farm to grow some crops. I was in elementary school, he was in junior high or high school, and you know, we were planting all kinds of crops on the farm. And we would actually take our wagon around Mountville, knock on doors, and uh, you know, sell our cantaloupes and watermelons and everything else that we had. So 
Um, fast forward a little bit, we had the idea to, let's do a, a hay ride in the fall, which everyone loves, but let's make a twist on it and make it scary. And then we were brainstorming like, oh, what should we call it? And there was like Field of Dreams. It was like Field of Screams. Oh man, that's like, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. So, But the, the, the problem was that we never trademarked it because we had no, we really had no business plan. It was just like right. a cool name. You know, we looked on the internet, we got fieldofscreams.com. We're like, oh, perfect. But then, you know, fast forward now about 10 years, we're like, you know, we should probably look into like trademarking this name. Yeah. We were school teachers. We didn't, you know, we weren't business majors. Um, so when we went to trademark it, we're like, oh, some guy in Kentucky owns a trademark. And, um, you know, there's other field screams out there. And at that point, it was kind of too late to, right. to, to stop anyone else from using the name. So there is some confusion out there. People... Some people think it's a, a franchise and it's, you know, we try to make the point that we are the original, you know, we're, we're right. the first field screams. Um, unfortunately, we don't own the, the complete name, but, um, you know, we're not related to any, any other field screams out there. You own the fear, though. We own the fear. We own <laughs> you when you come. It's like, we own your soul. <laughs> I, I felt it. Yes. I felt it, it. It gets intense in there. I mean, it can be a little overwhelming for some people. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it started out with just like a hayride. But I guess, you know, from year to year, how do you change it up? Yeah, you're right. It, it just, it, 90, 1993, it was only a hayride. And then we slowly added the other attractions um, as we just evolved and grew. Um, and, you know, that's the, that's one of the most fun part of the jobs is is just being creative and, and coming up with new ideas year after year. And to be honest, we have more ideas than we have time for. So we already have all our plans laid out for 2025, wow. a few for 2026. Yeah. Um, and you know, the sky's the limit. So, you know, it's just it, basically whatever you can imagine that is cool, impressive, safe, um, you know, we want to do like, you know, for like the hayride next year, we're going to turn that hillbilly area into, um, just this epic gas station scene, you know, exploding gas station and, nice. um, uh, mechanic wow. shop and all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. It's, um, you know, we have it in you know sketches right now and and gathering some 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 things and going through some special effects that are going to happen there so i mean it's just it's fun it's like it's just like it's like incredibly fun just to create these these you know incredible scenes that have all these different components and scenic elements to them and um you know you start from scratch and and like i mentioned like the sky's the limit you can we're only limited really by it the time that we have until we have to open it up again the next year you know we just we, we put a ton of money back into the show every year and just make it bit bigger and better and and better than the year before yeah honestly um you know i think i told you before but this is definitely one of the best haunted house attractions i've ever seen um like the amount of work that you guys put into it is is amazing it's phenomenal it really is well thanks yeah we i mean we do work on it all year and we have a, a team of 12 full-time people that all year long i mean wow. they're on payroll they're they are dedicated to making field screams cooler more impressive uh you know all year so literally as soon as we close the doors in mid-november we're tearing into things and making the scenes for next year um and we do have some off-season events we do a christmas and valentine's day st patty's day halfway to halloween we open up so the, the challenge sometimes is when we're creating a new set or new scene is those off-season events come up and you know we have to either bypass them or kind of you know walk through a half-finished room which it's kind of neat in a way because the, the our fans get to see like oh my gosh this is like this is going to be new for next year. We can't tell what it is yet, but it's, you know, it's kind of like a sneak little tease um, just to kind of get them excited. What's your favorite attraction? <laughs> so that's why I laugh because like people will ask me that and yeah. I'll be like, you know, the election's coming up. So I have a political answer. I can be like, well, each one is so unique. Like, you know, <laughs> the Den of Darkness I love because it's a haunted mansion and it's like, it's really just, kind of like stands alone and then the frightmare asylum is uh 
you know, it has that medical doctor and nurses. So, so completely different. So I really love that one too. That one's amazing. And, and then Nocturnal Wasteland, it's like, it's unlike any of the others. You're, yeah. you're in this uh, post-apocalyptic, like wooded, you know, plane crash and these shacks and, you know, these creatures out there. And so that one's just amazing too. So I don't really have a favorite, mm. but then really when it comes down to it, the real answer, like off the record, but on the record, I'd say the Hayride is really the okay. fa my favorite because for a lot of different reasons, it, it's really what kicked it all off. It's really the field of screams. It's, it's, it's the cornfield. It's the Hayride. It's what, you know, started field screams back in 1993. It's the OG, you know, and it's really the most popular amongst our guests. I mean, most of our guests do all four attractions, but you know, if you ask them, it's like the Hayride is just that nostalgic, you know, thing to do in the fall. Go on the Hayride, you know, go on, go on the Hayride. And, and obviously ours is just not a nice, pleasant ride, but, <laughs> in the field, but you know, it's, uh, and the scenes out there are just monstrous and, mm -hmm. and, you know, just incredible. It's just like, it, it's, it's, I don't know. It, it's really, it, it's, it's really breathtaking when you go through it. So the Hayride for me is, is really yeah. the favorite. I guess a twist on that question. Um, I mean, you did answer it, but if you had to stay in one of the attractions for the rest of your life, oh, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, which one would it be? Oh. And, <laughs> and keep your sanity as much as you can. Yeah. Which one would you? Well, I've lost that. So, okay. um, so that that should. Be if I had to stay in one of the attractions, no one has. You know, I've been doing this thirty-two <laughs> years. No one has ever asked me that. So we're kind of crazy. Yeah, I can. I, can tell. I, like, you, I like you guys already. You're, you're on my level. She's she's uh, the horrible. <laughs> something's wrong. You guys. No. Um, I would say, which one would I want to stay in? I, you know, I, I would say the Den of Darkness um, because it's most like a house, right? Like a haunted house, and like mm -hmm. a lot of people just want to live in a haunted house, which would be kind of cool. Um, I mean, I, don't, I guess maybe not a lot of people want to live cool, in a house, Cool like, until it's not. So yeah, right, right. <laughs> That's scary. I mean, like the necrophilia towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, you know, I think the Den of Darkness would be the most, yeah. the most fun. Um, the Frightmare Asylum might just freak me out after a while with all the nurses and doctors, but yeah. the Den at least feels a little bit like home in a sense. Scary like a home. weird home. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you have everything that you need, right? If you need that's what I'm thinking too. You have the kitchen, stuff. you have the bathroom, you got the yeah. uh, ballroom. You want to do a little dancing? I mean, like, you got the creepy attic. If you want to, you know, go oh, to yeah, the attic and just get creeped out. I mean, um, yeah, you got the furnace, the boiler. Uh, you got the little torture, you know, area if you want to torture some oh, people. Excellent. I mean, yeah. you kind of have everything at your yeah. fingertips there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a good. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going. With, I'm going Dan. Dan. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah actually. <laughs> yeah. You know, you get bored, just a little torture is fun. Yeah. 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 Just pass the time. But they're all so different, which is so cool and unique because yeah. it's, it's like you get them from movies if you do. Yeah. Or like no, you know, the funny thing is growing up, um, we actually, you know, my parents, uh, you know, didn't even have a TV in the house. Like, so mm -hmm. we never watched horror movies. We never watched like, we didn't have TV. So, you know, we were yeah. just like our imagination with books and just different things were, all we had and um yeah so it's it's uh we we don't really get ideas from the yeah. movies per se it's 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 more um just kind of like what what are people afraid of what would make a really cool like yeah scene that we could create fear around and uh you know that, that's that's pretty much how it you know how it goes. I'm gonna say you guys are successful. Yeah, uh, it was Annette's fault. The, the, well, the amount it's of Annette's fault. the amount of times yes, I lost you it. in each attraction is yeah. wild, um, minus the hate ride. Obviously, you couldn't really move there. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> so, I guess for you, what makes Field of Screams unique? Yeah, uh, you know what makes Field of Screams unique is really the passion I feel it's the passion and the dedication that we put I mean there's really a lot of things uh, you know but one of the things that stands out to people is the passion and the dedication that we put into it and the detail you know people often comment like you know like man all the little detail or they'll go through the one of the attractions and they'll be like when did you guys put this in I'm like that's been there for three years like, oh my gosh I never <laughs> noticed that like I was always looking over here you know it's like 
There's so much that goes into it, and we really, you know, 32 years in, we just love what we do, you know, just like the first day. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just a lot of fun. So, you know, my brother and I are both super passionate still, and we have a, a team of freight engineers that just love what they do as well. So, you know, and, and then that, that separates field screens from a lot of haunted attractions. And then also just the atmosphere, you know, that we create, like when you come to field screams, it's like, it, it, it's not like you rolled up at some place that like, okay, it's like July. Let's start putting our haunt together. You know, this, this thing is, it's like a haunted amusement park in a yeah. sense, you know, without the roller coaster and that stuff. But when you walk in, like you feel like you're at like a cool venue, you know, it's like yeah. the lights, the signs, the scenery, like just everything that's going on, the entertainment area and the escape rooms and the axe throwing and the games and just all the other activity, uh, the 3D mapping shows on the buildings. It's, it just creates this, we, what we call ultimate atmosphere, F-E-A-R, fear, <laughs> um, yeah. you know, around, around the evening and, and, People just like to hang out, you know. Yeah. And then we got the chainsaw bar, you know, a beer garden area that we added. Mm -hmm. uh, actually added last year, but we really revamped that whole area. It was kind of a pilot program, and and now it's uh you know now it's a full fledged you know uh, beer garden area that's just really cool and um it's just it's just a really fun night out that that you just guess to spend the entire evening. Well, yeah, no, it's we survived. <laughs> you hopefully barely survived we usually lose one or two a weekend yeah so yeah but well, we do have EMTs on site every night um mm. we have the AED machine <laughs> so we're equipped for everything we've seen it all after 32 yeah. years and there's a couple bodies out there on call like that I was gonna ask if that's where you dump them but yeah, yeah. yeah I right yeah, yeah there's a the field so like I mean that's why it grows right. Right. So, so, yeah the corn yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah you know it <laughs> tell my secrets. What do you enjoy about being scared? I would say I don't enjoy it, but I enjoy the feeling of being scared. Literally, like the feeling that it gives you. I enjoy that feeling. Okay, why do you enjoy that? I don't know, like an adrenaline rush. It's like riding a roller coaster without the roller coaster. What kind of situation scares you the most? Uh, probably being in my home and like just having the unsafe feeling in my in my own home. Like I feel like I'm supposed to be comfortable there. So yeah. You mostly watch horror movies. I don't mostly watch them, but I do really enjoy horror movies. What is it that draws you to haunted houses? Why do you kind of like doing this sort of stuff? I think a big part of it is just ever since I was a kid, my brother and I. That was something we always shared. Was like the scary stuff. You know, he was super into horror novels and horror movies and going all out decorating for Halloween, pretty much at the level of most of these like scare houses and whatnot that I go to. So I think what I like about being scared is knowing that I cannot be scared, it, meaning that like I kind of have control over the situation. So while it's still a spooky place, like my reaction or where I'm looking is still in, in my hands. And so I don't really feel like I'm being scared. I really enjoy going to these things because I like the look. I like seeing the props. I like seeing the animatronics. Why do you think people like being scared? What, what do you think brings them to Field of Screams or any other attraction for that matter? Yeah, uh, you know, why do people like being scared? It's it's another sense of it, the thing with a haunted attraction. It's really cool that I've kind of learned and, and have seen over the years. It's similar to the thrill of like a roller coaster combined with like the thrill of watching a horror movie or even an action movie or a thriller. Um, but the difference is like you're you're immersed like the difference between the movie is like you're actually like in the movie mm -hmm. but it's not like a roller coaster but it's the same kind of emotion and it's like the roller coaster is just like scared or like just like ah, you know like where it's like a haunted attraction you have even more feelings like you're scared but then you're thrilled then you're nervous it's like it kind of like 
it's all these different emotions mm -hmm. and then we try to capitalize on like all the senses too like you see things you might feel things you might smell things you might even taste like the scent in the air kind mm -hmm. of thing so we really try to encapsulate a lot of the different senses into the uh into the scenes um and then at the same time you know you're safe but we take you to the edge of reality where you know, and we preach this with our design crew and with our actors and, and everything. It's like when somebody is in that morgue in the den, we want them to feel like, like it smells like a morgue, looks like a morgue, feels like, like, mm -hmm. we want them to think like, I'm in a, that's a more, like, I'm in a morgue, man. I kind of want to get the heck out of here. Like, it, it definitely did smell a little yeah, like a morgue. Like a little um, like going. So, you know, people, I think, in my opinion, and I'm not a doctor, but I did stay at Holiday Inn Express last night. No. <laughs> <laughs> Without the commercial or something like that. <laughs> um, in my opinion, people people uh, you know love to have that feeling of like you know you're safe, but you're but at the same time you you're you kind of feel unsafe. You know, right. just like a like a roller coaster or any kind of amusement where uh, you, you you know you're safe. You know you trust what's going on, but at the same time you're like. This is like a little crazy, yeah. You know, um, and people just love that feeling. It, it's 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 revitalizing. It's like you know, like after a long week or whatever, you you just you need that entertainment. You just need that release. <laughs> same thing for a lot of the actors you know they just they love the release of just scaring somebody it's just like it's their like i don't know just their like uh whatever their zen <laughs> I don't know. Wow. it's just you know they, they just they they love the they they, they, they they just love like you know kind of like just being able to let loose and, and yeah. scare people yeah so i think it's the same thing for the gut for the customers they, they like that feeling of you know there's just like you know, I forgot about everything. Yeah. I just had fun, you know. Yeah. We actually saw it after 9-11, um, you know, kind of like a little off topic, but, mm -hmm. you know, 9-11, that was September 11th. So wow. we, we opened, we, yeah. we opened like four days, five days right after that. And we were like, can we even open all the attraction after this? Is that right? Is that like, mm -hmm. you know, we're like battling this. And, and we decided to open because we felt like people needed some normalcy right and it was like probably the best thing we've ever done like people just was, were they were like you know we're so glad you just like you opened and you, we had something to do just kind of take our minds off to kind of feel normal and you know yeah. so it's, it was kind of like mm -hmm. it, it's kind of you know people just they need it you know yeah it's it's it's, it's cool it's uh, like testing your own boundaries i think right like how far can you go in terms of fear yeah and then we do an extreme night as well like oh. at the very end of our season so you speak about testing your boundaries hmm. so we do an extreme blackout night um, oh the very last oh. night of our season and wow. you sign a special waiver and and we do then we we actually you know take it to the next level you know where you know we will isolate you we'll take you into the cornfield and uh do things to you uh, what we, it's huh. it's legal yeah okay um yeah. yeah, it's uh, I mean, it's legal outside yeah. of the U.S., but inside of the <laughs> So we'll sign Chandi up for that. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, be yeah, sure yeah, to yeah, yeah, bring Chandi. her back. Yeah. I felt um, I was pretty she, alone in some places, and I was like, Honestly, it was really funny because I, like, you know, everybody moves pretty fast through. Like, yeah. you know, you, and, yeah, and I she's, don't understand why people like, go. I, like, I, I, soak it in, right? Yeah. Like, oh, no, I, that's not what I, <laughs> I was like. But, like, I, every time I turn around. She's gone. I'm like, yeah. I was like tiptoeing. I'm tiptoeing because of fear. Well, if you guys come back for Extreme Blackout and you turn around, she actually will be gone. <laughs> That's true. She will get kidnapped yep. and, you know, okay. I mean, dog napped, I guess. Oh, yeah. It's fine. It's, it's not that far from home, you know. Yeah. Um, I can just. Yeah, so I mean, you probably just be going home. Oh, yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Take my car. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll just, <laughs> just yeah. go. Yeah. Wow. I'll tell your parents. Yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's the, uh, Extreme blackout night is for those people that just need that little extra level of intensity. Yeah. It's not for everybody. No, we have somebody on our team that might uh, yeah. enjoy that. 
<laughs> no, neither of us, but somebody else that would enjoy that. Oh, so you like Halloween. <laughs> I love this time of year. I mean, for me, actually, what I like most about Field Screams really is, is just seeing everybody's reactions, whether it's enjoyment, <laughs> laughter, crying, puking, oh screaming, gosh. you know. Like, oh, no, no one puked, right? Wait. We've had some pukers. What? Like. What? Okay, that means they well, really sometimes can't. like the, uh, like some people, sometimes people get so anxious that they have to puke. Okay. But then sometimes wow. that spinning tunnel in the hair ride doesn't help either. I get, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it almost so, got me there okay. for a second. Um, mm. But, you know, yeah, for me, it's like, you, you know, just the creation of it all, but then actually the fulfillment of when people are coming and going through and, you know, just experiencing whatever it is, the realm, the range of emotions mm -hmm. that somebody ex experiences um, when they come here at, to feel the screams. You know, that's, that's the coolest part for me, really. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have succeeded. <laughs> I have heard a lot of screams tonight. Okay. Yes. Yes. Recorded a lot of screams. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're, <laughs> They're out in the atmosphere. I don't know if they get collected somewhere, yeah. but <laughs> we're like running and like shrieking. I think like, they stay in the field of screams, like they're just somewhere in here. Oh yeah, they're trapped in, the, in here. Uh, they're they're never going to escape in the boundaries. Yeah. Yes, it was screams. So and the tractor yeah. driver, I think he because you know that he's been doing it, and he's like, "Let me see what they're up." <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because yeah, they. Uh, they enjoy it too, you know. The tractor drivers, they like to look back and be like, yeah, "You suckers!" Bunch <laughs> <laughs> of victims on my way. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah, who's gonna scream in this in this group? Um, yeah, they yeah. Have that look. Yeah, and that's a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, the the staff they have a great time. They yeah. just they love being a part of it, and uh, you know, just yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd like to thank Jim for creating the fright-filled world of Field of Screams. Whether you're a seasoned haunted house enthusiast or someone who prefers to sleep with the lights on, there's no denying the artistry and dedication that goes into creating an experience like this. If you're brave enough, head over to fieldofscreams.com to get your tickets for this season. That's fieldofscreams.com. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Bound by the Cloak. You can follow us on social media. We are on X, Instagram, Threads, and TikTok. Also, be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. And we're releasing even more awesome Halloween content this month, so be on the lookout for that. We'll be back really soon with another episode. Thanks for listening to this episode of Bound by the Cloak. Until next time.